Workbook page 348, lesson 5.1, guided practice. Write an integer for each situation, then explain the meaning of zero in each situation. So number one is a 15 yard gain. So as an integer, that would be a positive 15. But when we write positive numbers, we don't need to put the plus sign. We just write them as a regular number. Um, zero in this situation would mean no yards gained and no yards lost if positive 15 means gain. Number two, a loss of two hours. The integer to represent this would be negative two because it's a loss. Zero in this situation would be no loss or no gain of hours, meaning no time has gone by. Graph each integer or set of integers on a number line. So number three, we wanna graph the integer negative two. So I'm gonna add some numbers to this number line. And to graph negative two, I would just put a dot on negative two. Number four, we wanna graph negative one, one, and zero. So again, I'm gonna add some integers to my number line. I'm just gonna number this. So negative one, I would put a dot at negative one. Positive one, I would put a dot at positive one and put a dot at zero. Number five, the data set five, zero, negative 15 and 20 shows the number of points Delaney scored on each hand of a card game. Graph the scores, explain the meaning of zero in the situation. So now we have some bigger numbers here. So to fit this on my number line, I'm gonna go by five. So I'm gonna do zero, five, 10, 15, 20, and then negative five, negative 10, negative 15, and negative 20. So I would graph zero by putting a dot at zero. I'm gonna graph positive five by putting a dot at positive five. Graph negative 15 by putting a dot at negative 15. Lastly, graph positive 20 by putting a dot at positive 20. So zero in this situation, these numbers represent the number of points Delaney scored on each hand of a card game. So zero means she didn't score any points, but she also didn't lose any points in this situation.